Welcome to the final day of the RC44 Bermuda Cup 2016, and with the points closer than ever, the final decider of who will take podium glory at the 2016 season opener. Today's racing was the last chance for teams to find any chinks in their opponent's armour, fight their way through the fleet and take on the final leaderboard assault. I think with, with Lightwind, uh, Bruno Nosset's team is really strong and they are always very consistent. They just had a bad day yesterday as we had one of our days, so today uh, I think they are, they are in uh, good shape. So they could be favoured, but Aqua as always, they are, they are really say kind of leaders of the class and uh, and they didn't have a bad day so far so uh, it will be interesting so it's it's a nice day in front of us out on the great sound teams jostled for positions as crews took their place for the final races the light breeze meant every maneuver mattered any mistake would prove costly at this closing stage, with no opportunity to recover. Series leader Team Aqua battled the difficult light conditions today and just about managed to hang on to second place in the closing race of the day, allowing the team to walk away with the Bermuda Cup title. A strong start to their season. But the real fight was for the remaining podium places. Bonenno set sailing team looks stylish and composed, taking the first bullet of the day to match the point score of arch rival Team Nika in second overall. In the final race decider, the two Russian friends went head to head in a tactical battle for the podium. In the light conditions, Bonenno set sailing team's tactician Michaela Ivaldi seemed to have a direct line to the wind god as their blue hulled RC44 claimed the final race win, taking silver, with Team Nika happy to settle for bronze. My friend, my close friend Vladimir, just in one point ahead. It's a big pleasure for us to fight so close against each other. My team did excellent job especially today our tactician and all guys didn't uh, make any one mistake we are happy exceptional conditions and five days of constantly challenging racing rewarded worthy winners the prize-giving ceremony marked the highlight of a social week as teams were presented with prizes and awards to applause from fellow competitors. Five days of stunning racing and sportsmanship wrapped up with celebrations as teams reflected on an action-packed week. The RC44s now leave the 35th America's Cup venue in Bermuda and head to the RC44 Soto Grand World Championship in Spain in mid-May. Follow us in Soto Grande, RC44 Championship.